Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to create a custom AMI using EC2 Image Builder. What is Image Builder? EC2 Image Builder is a fully managed AWS service that helps you automate the creation, management and deployment of customized, secure and up-to-date server images. EC2 Image Builder is free, however, standard pricing applies for other services used in the process. For example, launching an EC2 instance, storing logs and so on. Let's begin our practice by creating an image pipeline. A pipeline is used to create a custom image. The creation consists of six steps. Let's go through each of the steps. In the first step, we need to specify pipeline details. Enter a pipeline name. Keep the box enable enhanced metadata collection selected. EC2 Image Builder uses Amazon Inspector to scan your test instances for vulnerabilities. In the demo, you don't have to enable Amazon Inspector, so just keep this setting. I am going to run the pipeline manually, so select the manual option. Of course, you can run pipelines using a scheduler. Click on Next. The second step is choosing or creating a new recipe. Click on Create new recipe. EC2 Image Builder allows you to create AMIs or Docker images. In the demo, we are creating the AMI. Type in a recipe name and version. Let's move on and select the base image. The base image is the starting point for image customization. There are four options – Select Managed Images, AWS Marketplace Images, Enter Custom AMI ID and Import Base Image. I am going to use the Managed Image with the Amazon Linux Operating System. In the Image Region section, select Quick Start, choose Amazon Linux 2023x86 and select Use Latest Available OS Version. Before creating your new AMI, Image Builder launches temporary Amazon EC2 instances to build and test your image configuration. EC2 Image Builder uses the AWS Systems Manager agent as part of the image build process, so in the end you can choose to keep the SSM in the output image or not. Don't select the box Remove SSM agent after pipeline execution. To run commands on your build instance at launch, you can specify user data. Note that when you provide user data, you must also ensure that the SSM agent is already installed on the base image, or that you install it with your user data input. I am not going to run any commands during launch, so just skip user data. Keep the working directory as TMP. The next step is to add components. Components are software scripts that define the custom configuration for an image. You can choose from the Amazon managed components or create your own. There are two types of components, build and test. Let's create our own build component. Select the build type. The image OS is Linux. Choose a compatible OS. In our case, it's Amazon Linux 2023. Type in a component name and version. A definition document defines the actions for EC2 Image Builder to perform on your image. The document uses phases and steps to group tasks. In each phase there are actions. You can explore all actions in the official documentation. In the video I am going to use only the execute bash action for demo purposes. Let's create our own document. I have prepared the document before. This document consists of one phase with one step. In this step the program cause will be installed. Create component. Refresh components. In the filter filter owner select owned by me. Select the component created a few seconds ago. In step 2 let's create our own test component. In the component type section select test. In the components details section choose the same configuration as in the build component. I have prepared the definition document before too. There is one phase with one step that checks if the CAUSI program has been installed. Create component. Select the created test component from the list. I am not going to use the optional EBS volume, so remove it. Click on Next. In step 3, we have to define workflows for building and testing. Each workflow consists of several steps. Each step has an action. For example, in this template the first step has a launch instance action. The second step is the execute component section. You can explore information about each action in the official documentation. 
For example, the launch instance action launches an instance in your AWS account and waits until the Systems Manager agent is running on the instance before moving on to the next step. Besides actions, each step can have inputs and so on. An explanation of each configuration of the workflow step is out of the scope of this video. Select the custom workflows type. Then click on Choose a build workflow. Select Build image. Let's define the testing workflow. Click on Add new test group. Select Test image from the list. In the Service Access section, select AWS Service role for Image Builder. Go Next. In this step, the infrastructure configuration for EC2 instances launched during the build and test process is defined. I am going to create a new infrastructure configuration. Enter a name. In the IAM role, you have to define a role associated with the instance profile. I have already created the role. Three permission policies have been attached. Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core, EC2 Instance Profile for Image Builder, EC2 Instance Profile for Image Builder ECR Container Builds. Select the role. I am choosing T2 Micro to reduce the cost of the demo. Expand the VPC, subnet and security groups. Select a VPC and choose the security group that allows all outbound traffic. I have created the security group before. Keep other settings as default. Click on Next. Distribution settings include specific region settings for encryption, launch permissions, accounts that can launch the output AMI, the output AMI name and license configurations. Select Create distribution settings using Service Default and go Next. Review the settings and create a pipeline. You are ready to launch the created pipeline. Select the created pipeline and run it. Open the image that is been created. In the workflow tab, there are steps executed by the build workflow. Open the first step. In the step, there are several tabs. The step input tab shows the input that image builder provides to run the step. In the application logs, there are logs that image builder generates when it creates a new image. In our case, the EC2 instance is launching. If you open the EC2 instances page, you will see the created EC2 instance during the pipeline execution. The step output shows the output from the step. In our case, it is a created instance ID. The launch build instance step has been completed. Let's go back to the list of steps. All steps in the build image workflow have been completed. Good. Open the output resources tab. There is a created image. Go back to the workflow tab. The test image workflow is running. Wait while it completes. The test has been completed. Go back to the Output Resources tab and copy the AMI name. Let's create an image using the created AMI. Open the EC2 Instances page. Click on Launch Instances. Type in a name for your instance. For example, Kausei. Click on My AMIs and choose the created AMI. Choose instance type. In my case, it is T2 Micro. Choose an SSH key pair. I have already created it. In the network section, click on Select Existing Security Group and choose the security group that allows all outbound traffic. We've created it before. Keep the configure storage as is. I am going to connect to the instance using Session Manager in the AWS Systems Manager service. To do this, we need to add an AMI role to the EC2 instance that allows connecting to the SSM manager. This role has been created. We added this role when we were creating an image pipeline. Launch an instance. The instance is running. Open the AWS Systems Manager page. On the side, click on Session Manager. Click on the Start Session button. Choose our instance from the list and go Next. Start the session. Let's execute the Kausei command. Everything is functioning smoothly. That's it, we've prepared the image with the pre-installed program and run the EC2 instance based on this image. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to delete the created AMI, the snapshot linked with the AMI and the CloudWatch logs. See you, goodbye.